guys. Uh, today I just wanted to uh, take a look at my um, juiced Piper Scrambler. Um, had this bike for like two years now and just want to kind of compare it to the bike I have on order. I have a uh, Super 73 um, RX on order and kind of just want to like talk about like the specs of both bikes and kind of like what my expectations are for the new bike, the RX that is. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna like wash this bike because it's like really dirty right now and um, just share some of my thoughts. So here is the bike. This is a Juice Bikes um, Hyper Scrambler. I don't think they make this bike anymore. At least on their website, I don't see the hyper scrambler all I see is uh, the camp scrambler which looks just like this except um, it doesn't have the 1100 watt you can see it down in there I think yeah you can see it right in there it says 1100 watt um, motor I don't know if I can get it to focus in there but yeah that's the 1100 watt motor and a 52 volt battery so this bike also has a what does it have nine speed yeah like nine speeds so the uh, super 73 rx does not come standard with the uh the speed the 10 speed you have to order that separate so like it's another like little thing like you have to consider but i usually like when i ride this bike i usually just have it in the uh, the highest gear meaning the most resistance so like it, it gives you the most like pedal assistance there when you have it in the highest gear and um yeah i use it like that and then i use the uh the throttle over here um, it's on the left side on this bike it's kind of awkward because I'm used to uh, riding motorcycles so uh, I'm used to throttle always being on the right side of the bike so the Super 73 RX has the throttle on this side still a thumb throttle I wish they made a uh, a twist throttle conversion or something I would definitely do that um, and then other similarities this bike has is the front suspension I don't think it's as as beefy as the uh, RX but I mean it does have front suspension it does have a headlight and fenders which uh, you know it's needed if you're gonna go over like any sort of like dirt or like wet terrain you're gonna get soaked if you don't have the fenders and I ride at night sometimes so the light is needed um, the brakes on this are pretty good haven't had any issues with the brakes they're pretty uh solid you know not not much um fade or anything like that and the tires are okay they're they're not the greatest tire like for the road or for off-road it's kind of just like average for um for both because like when you start really like getting in turns on dirt like you get to this sidewall here with no tread and um, I've definitely uh, laid it out a couple times from uh, you know getting too deep into a turn and then just you get to this the sidewall here and it just kind of washes out on you but you know that's kind of expected on, on these tires here I would need to get like a more uh, off-road tire if I wanted to fix that um, design on this bike is really cool like it, you definitely turn a lot of heads on this too um, the RX is a little bit more like motorcycle-y, I would say, because it has the uh, the battery like tank thing up here. The battery on this bike is this right here. Um, and the main thing, you know, I, I wanted over um, this bike was the rear suspension. So this bike doesn't have rear suspension, and I definitely want that. So like on the RX, it has it and definitely that's like the main thing I'm looking forward to is because I do mostly off-roading and to have 
the rear suspension will definitely like help out a bunch because it gets pretty darn bumpy on this one and you can see here it has the rear fender also I think the RX has fenders front and rear too but um, so like the speed like this bike like on flat like I could pretty much go like 33 like on flat and like that's that's moving pretty good for an electric bike so like I know and this is 1100 watt 52 volt battery and the RX is a 2000 watt peak and I'm not sure what the volts is on the on the RX but it's, it has like better specs on paper but people are saying you know like around the same speed as this so uh, I guess we'll see because that's definitely something I'm like interested in is the top speed because it, it's got to go over 30 like it has to so and I've been seeing a lot of people getting you know more than like 30 something some people getting like 40 I, but I'm pretty sure it's like downhill so that would be interesting to see how what the top what the actual top speed is for me like on when I have it when I have the new bike um, and it'd be cool like to compare like this bike versus the RX and I'm definitely going to be riding both still um, and then my girlfriend will be riding this one um, when we go on like um, like beach trips and stuff like that we'll have um, both to like cruise around on which I'm really looking forward to like it's so much fun to be able to go with like another person so like that's the main like reason why I got like another one would would be to uh, go on group rides because this my dad um, will be able to ride this one too and, and we'll be able to go together it's like really fun to both like rip on a trail or like beach thing um pretty much covered everything like this bike like I beat the balls off of this bike and it's held up like fine the only thing I broke probably was just the inner tube from uh, jumping but other than that like this thing has held up great it's been two years I have um, I don't know if you can see 895 yeah, 895 that's not gonna focus <laughs> 895 uh, miles on it and been loving it juiced hyper scrambler yeah somebody comment do they still make this bike or not i don't think they do i haven't been able to find it anywhere um only thing i see on their website is a camp scrambler which is not as powerful motor it's only a 750 watt motor so yeah comment below if you know if somebody or somebody like somewhere they still sell this bike because i haven't seen any um and then i'll definitely do an unboxing and a review and then I'll probably do a comparison review on the Super 73 um, RX and other than that have a good day and stay tuned for more videos I'm gonna be posting more bike videos so